If you truly want to run a CNC business, you have to prospect your own local area. Get the word out about your capability, about your creativity, what it is you're making, and how merchants can make money with you. Kevin Barnett in the Carbide 3D Studio. I'm going to show you exactly how I'd go about building a local book of business. There are so many stores in your area that are already selling the categories with items that could be coming off of your CNC router. Wood, metal, plastic items. So much possibility exists here. Don't listen to the naysayers who would tell you, oh, it's already saturated. My whole area is full of things. False. Those people are wrong and they lack creativity. Creativity and quality are going to be critical to your success along with relationship building, which is going to require you to get out of your shop and go talk to people. In fact, it's going to require me to get out of the studio and go talk to people. So let's do that in this video. But first, to the computer to identify some stores. Where are we gonna go? What streets are we gonna walk? We're gonna go walk the community right now. We all know those walkable areas a downtown exists in 90% of the cities and towns across the United States. It is increasingly popular. The small shop movement, shop local, is a real thing. In Redondo Beach, the Chamber of Commerce is incredibly active, encouraging that movement. There are social media pages for Riviera Village. A combined 18,000 people follow those pages. This is where the restaurants are. This is where the nightlife happens. This is where on a Saturday afternoon, if you want to do some shopping, you go there. Taking a look down Catalina Avenue in just this four block span, you will find a number of targets. Everything from clothing shops shops, to card stores, to restaurants, to cooking shops. There is no lack of opportunity in just these four blocks. And this is not it for our local area. This is just the most dense section. You can go to downtown Torrance. You can go to Hermosa Beach. You can go to Manhattan Beach. If you're in another area, look at Nashville. 12 South is where I would start. A lot of activity there, a lot of competition. Yeah, but your stuff's gonna be pretty good. How about Kansas City? I've walked that downtown before from one end down to the KFC Yum Center. I went past a number of cool little t-shirts and knickknack shops, stuff that was all shop local. This is present wherever you are. Get out, walk, and talk to people. We're gonna do that now. We've gone down to Riviera Village and we're gonna go into different shops. I think your first trip is all about going in and just looking around. Just see what each store has. Maybe make some notes in your phone, take a look at their mix of products, and figure out what you want to target, who you wanna target, what items you have in their shop already so that when you arrive and you talk to an owner or you talk to a buyer, or you actually talk to an employee about the possibility of stocking your stuff, that you already have an idea of what fits that shop, what they should be selling, what they should be doing with you to be in business. You want that to be the case before you even set foot into a conversation with the owner or a buyer. So I'm here with Elise of Ribbons and we were talking about jewelry. Elise, give them an idea of kind of the stuff that sells or how you're bringing in merchants. Are you guys working with local people? What's happening with your jewelry? Good chunk of local people. The owner has had the shop for 42 years. So she'll go to like gift shows. They have big ones in uh, Long Beach, LA, just finds different merchants there. We do have some people come in like just to show us their stuff and see if any of it would fit our kind of beachy vibe. And so, yeah, a little bit of everything. We have some of our lines are on the East Coast. Some are like local. It's just kind of an eclectic mix. So if somebody yeah. comes in, will you give them the time of day? Will you talk to them? Oh, look yeah, for sure. Stuff? Yeah, look, we, we usually have like to have the owner here because she has the final say. We'll always take samples of anything. Or they can leave their catalogs. They can shoot us an email and just, yeah, that's okay. it for the most part. Yeah. That's great. Did you hear that? They'll take samples. They'll take if you want to give them something, if you want to give something to Elise, like, Here's a pair I of earrings. Take it. Keep them. I will take it. They're yeah. all mine. <laughs> yeah, that's the best way to do it. Give her something that she enjoys. Give something that they can then debate and then contact you back. Give them a card. What's the best way to kind of get that, that conversation going? I'd say come in person or send us a catalog if you have it. We have we don't we do have an email, but I'd say more, yeah, catalog in the mail or visit us in person are the best way. We're not super tech friendly. <laughs> So you can shoot us an email, but it might take a while for you to get a response. All right, personal relationships, build That's them. That's what we like. 
All right, welcome to the Aloha Boutique. This is the kind of place that is absolutely in your wheelhouse. Former flower shop just opened. They love to sell unique items, local items. They're all about that marketplace. This is the kind of thing you're looking for. Small retailers where you can get your foot in the door. It's low pressure for you to not have to make a ton of stuff right away. You can probably learn and grow with someone like this. I read about them in a local paper and that's how I even know they exist. You have to always be looking, always be thinking about where you can sell your stuff. Welcome to Cartier. This is a shop that I've gone to frequently. They have a lot of local personalized merchandise. Let's go ahead and have a look. Inside Cartier, Cartier? Yes. We're gonna make sure you get that right. Let's talk to Lila and Kim here. Let me flip it around. Hello. Lila and Kim, yes. owners here at Cartier. Long time shop in Redondo Beach. You guys stock a lot of local stuff. How do you find new stuff to bring into the store? Uh, we have a lot of people that just come in and they'll take a, a moment to talk to us. If, if we're not here, they'll email us and we'll set up a time and we just go from there. If we like it and it's a good price point, then we'll sell it. Kim, are you guys generally personable or are you like, I, I don't really want to hear from you? <laughs> she pretends not to be personable, but she is actually the life of the party. So, okay. So <laughs> you don't have like a do good cop, bad work. cop going on. She makes me yeah. do all the dirty work. <laughs> Okay, what's the best approach? Should somebody make something and give it to you? What do you wanna see from a potential supplier? Um, if they have something already made, it's good to see it in person. Um, I, we like it like in an email and in person, that's great. Um, and then their idea of what they wanna sell it for is always important so that we know if we can sell it. Yeah, so if they just come in with it or if they have an idea of something and we say, yeah, do it and we'll see, then sure. Yeah. What's a good time to come in? I would say 11-ish. 11 a.m. is good or um, yeah, anytime between 10 and 12 in the morning yeah. is great. Yeah. Okay. Rush yeah. Before everybody starts showing up. Yes. And what are you looking for in terms of margin? Just generally, if I want to sell something to you for $10, what does it need to sell for at retail so people have an idea of what they're targeting? Uh, like 23 to 28. Yeah. Okay. Who are some local merchants that you guys have brought in that you've had success with? Do you, do you know a couple off the top of your head? Um, Rad Love. <laughs> and I make candles, so ours. But also... Um, made by LA. Oh yeah, Made by LA. Laura, Laura, she's great. Sweatshirts, tote bags, and all that. We sell her stuff like crazy. We actually don't even have any of it in right now. Um, Agapantha. Yep. Agapantha Jewelry. Pacific Stranded. And Pacific Stranded. Um, there's a lot. Actually. There's a there's lot. It's hard to like locally made goods. Yes, to be we do. Art and photographs. Yeah, there's and photo uh, printed. Yeah, photographs and all kinds of things. Yeah. In terms of someone developing a product or a line, what's important or eye-catching for you? What would make you think eh, I might want to bring this in? Um, something unique is always great as long as it's like fits with our shop. Um, but also local stuff. Yeah, like local, anything that says Redondo, Palos Verde, South Bay, California. We're always looking for that kind of stuff. Erin, surf stuff, beach stuff, yeah. Terrific, thanks. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Are you guys making buying decisions right now? Right now. <laughs> yeah, in what the we, moment. What are we looking at? Yes, this uh, is Denise with Fine Lines. She's stickers. <laughs> Local stuff. Yeah. yeah. Totally customizable, yes. all of it. So, yes. Denise, you're doing this. Like, I am. This is your company. You're Super pitching. Well, I'm these the sales two. rep for them. Okay. Yeah. All right. But yeah. you're doing it. Like, yeah, you're yep. you're taking them through some new product. Yeah. We're looking through a catalog here and Actually, I guess. <laughs> we're getting some orders in. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I hear that they're ordering things right now. Right it's right happening. This minute. <laughs> All right, that whole process took less than an hour. We met some store owners. We talked to an actual person who's out there selling things to the stores. We got a lot of information about the different products and mixes that are out there. There's so much to work off of with just one hour of spent time. It's time for you to get in your shop, make some things and prospect your local area and start making money and having success with your machines. Kevin Barnett from outside the studio. We'll be back with more information, ideas and inspiration.